Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. I am Sharonda and I am your host. And y'all, the summertime is finally here. Like when I say it's here, I can't speak about the rest of the country. But down here in South Louisiana, the summertime is here. The pools are open. The beaches are open. Like people are outside. The weather is beautiful, but it is hot. Oh my God, it is so hot. But this is one of my favorite times of the year. My my most favorite time of the year is the fall, right? But the summer, I, I love the summer for so many different reasons. And I love the summer because most times people's sex drives and everything kind of increase during the summer. Why? Because we have vacations going on, kids out of school. We, uh, we don't have to worry about our normal routine, things being structured. We could sleep in, all different things go on during the summertime, and all of those things directly relate to an increase in sex amongst couples, especially couples that reside together, right? Let's talk about couples that don't reside together. Oh, baby, don't get it twisted. The sneaking links is getting it in. The friends with benefits is getting it in. The 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 sis and bros, y'all know how y'all like to call everybody sis and everybody your brother, and they be getting it in too. They, they be getting it in. Make sure y'all get y'all water in, y'all. Stay hydrated. You know, this this my cup. When you see me, you see it. You know, and I be having to take little breaks in between to um to hydrate. But anyway, summertime is one of my favorite times of year. And the two products that I'm gonna talk about that you can actually have fun with is the paint. I have the edible body paint. Now, this one here is edible. Yes, you can paint all over the body with it, but it is edible. Let's see, it comes in four flavors, passion fruit, cherry, pina colada, and strawberry, right? Uh, this one is easy to wash off. Um, all you need is a little warm soap and water. Once you put it on the skin, it dries, you can lick it off. If you didn't, if you want to be one of them people that I want to, I want to put your name on it, but you ain't really serious about him putting his name on it, you can let him paint his name on it, and when it's all over, baby, you can wash it away. Have fun with it, right? Um, at the beginning of the year, I introduced the glow in the dark paints, right? So this one here is activated with uh, a black light. So if you have a black light and they sell them at Walmart for like $2.99, they are really cheap, really inexpensive. Amazon, you can get a black light. Um, I'm not going to sell black lights because I don't want to ship the paint and the black light and the black light, uh, cracks or we have issues with the black light. So you got to get your own black light, Right. But this one is the glow in the dark paint, right? So today, let me tell you what I'm doing. Today is buy one, get one free. If you buy the edible body paint, you get the glow in the dark paint free. If you buy the glow in the dark body paint, you get the edible free. It's buy one, get one free. $25, you get both paints. I can say it again. $25, you get both paints. Available to ship out today. And you know tomorrow is a holiday, so with that being said, the labels and everything will be printed today. Everything will go to the post office today. However, it won't get shipped out until Tuesday from the post office because they're not working tomorrow because tomorrow is a holiday. But everything will be at the post office ready to come to you. Meaning if you order it today, it's getting shipped today, and it's up to the post office when they get to it. But it'll be right there waiting on them when they come back to work. So, I think everybody's going to have fun with that. Today, I was on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and I presented a question, right? And my question was, what exactly is good sex? Like, we all know what bad sex is, right? When I talk to people, people can always tell me what bad sex is. They can tell me what made it bad, whatever sexual issue there was. But when I ask people, well, what is good sex to you? Sometimes they have a hard time explaining exactly what is good sex. Okay. So when I presented the question, of course, even I thought about my own personal answer. And I said, I can look at this two ways, right? There is a component that is orgasm focus, right? But then there's also a component that is pleasure focused, right? 
So with that being said, for me, good sex would be on the side that is pleasure focused. Like if my partner and I, our only objective is pleasure, meaning my, my objective is to please my partner and my partner's objective is to please me, to me, that is good sex, right? When I think about it on the orgasm side, because of course I want to close the orgasm gap. I meet too many women, and I'm saying women because most times men get theirs, right? I meet way too many women who don't experience an orgasm, right? So they kind of feel like, yeah, we did all of that. I was doing all of that work. He was doing all of that work, and at the end, it was all for nothing because nothing happened for me. And I feel like that's very, you know, unfortunate. And we'll talk about that because we do have products uh, in place to close the orgasm gap. But I, I'm just presenting you with the question, what is good sex for you? Is it orgasm focused or is it pleasure focused? Because I have had a person who solely only wanted their objective was just to make me have an orgasm. And I had to explain it to them. I was like, look, let me explain it to you. It, it does not, I'm not one of those people who don't have orgasms, okay? Meaning that if I'm having a great time and I'm experiencing pleasure, the orgasm will come. So I'm not one of those people who have a hard time getting there. The, my, everything circulates in my body the way it's supposed to. Everything is working the way it's supposed to. So we don't have to put a whole lot of emphasis on making sure that I have an orgasm because as soon as I sit on a dick, I'm about ready to come. Like seriously, that's just how my body operates. Like it does not take me a long time to reach an orgasm. Like as soon as you touch certain, like if you learn my body and you know what to do, like orgasm is going to happen like that. So that's the reason for me, it's not orgasm focus. I would much rather an experience with pleasure all different types of pleasure, right? I, I want to experience all different. I need to be stimulated mentally. I want to be talked to. I'd rather be on the side of pleasure focus because when, when you're focusing on pleasure for me, it's more mental stimulation, meaning that this person is stimulating me mentally, meaning more than likely they're talking to me. There's some type of something sensory going on. Maybe there's certain music playing in the background. Um... In other words, it's all different types of components that are in place to make sure that this is a pleasurable experience. Uh, normally toys are in reach. Lubricant is normally in reach. Um, of course, I'm dealing with two people who uh, bodies are working, my body's working properly, my partner's body's working properly, meaning that we're not dealing with any vaginal dryness or ED or anything like that. So it's certain things that go on to make sure that Pleasure actually happens, right? Because again, for some people, they can't reach the orgasm. But I honestly believe that the people who tell me that they can't reach an orgasm, if they were being pleased properly and they were experiencing pleasure and foreplay and they had all of these other things going on stimulating them, it's almost kind of like just making sure everything is kind of set right, right? In other words, if the atmosphere is right. If you got some good music going, because I love music, right? If I if we got some good music going, if the lighting is just right, like if there's some type of connection between us and you have an objective to please me and it's not about you just sticking your dick in me and keeping it put me moving and uh, pounding on me. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with going to pound town. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, I think sometimes when people are telling me they're not experiencing orgasm, I think they're dealing with partners who rush the sex. Meaning, they don't really get this person's bodies prepped and primed. They literally just going in, wanting to get them in, in and out, right? So, of course, that's not going to be, you're not going to get orgasms and you're not going to get pleasure. But, you know, I meet so many men who really don't have a lot of knowledge about a woman's body and how to make sure that the sexual experience is enjoyable. A lot of men basically do what they see in porn or they kind of wing it and they're not really talking to people or trying to get information. They just know dick going pussy and I'm dragging in and out until I get ready to catch mine and that's it. 
They lack creativity. They lack being able to literally get this person in the mood or whatever it is that it's going to take to get them there. Like I know people who, um, who literally overthinkers. So when they're having sex, everything is on their mind and they really can't focus to like get there. Right. Um, but if you got somebody that know how to take your mind off of all of that other stuff and literally have you there in the moment with them, you can enjoy sex. Right? So I, I just think it's a whole lot of different things that go on, but I think the main thing that we need to know is when a person is pleasure focused, they're doing what they have to do to make sure that you're there, mind, body, and spirit. Okay? These paints are buy one, get one free. Make sure you visit the website at www.thepgstore.com. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I am whew, so close to finalizing everything with this book. I have met with the publisher. I have the publishing contract. We have uh, made the revisions to the contract because it, when it was presented to me, it was certain things in that I was like, yeah, no, that's not what I want to do. This is exactly what I want to do. And you know, when you're working on projects with people, you got to talk up for yourself. You got to talk up and let people know that, you know, I understand what contracts mean. But at the end of the day, this is my intellectual property. These are my thoughts, my stories, and I want to maintain ownership of them. I don't want the publishing company to have ownership. So we had to literally go and revise this standard contract that they said that goes out to everybody. I didn't want a standard contract. My contract needed to be renegotiated. So now that the contract looks the way that I need it to look, uh, I have signed off on the contract and we have literally gotten the ball rolling. Um, originally, Stars gave us the date of July the 5th for the series, for, for my episode. The thing is, the series is going to air on July 5th, okay? But my episode is episode 2, all right? So I want to make sure you all understand that that's going to be July 12th, all right? So I'm having a watch party. I, uh, I'm renting an Airbnb. Uh, so I'm giving the location out. Once people send their payments because it's thirty dollars to ten, um, and that's just basically covering the cost of food and stuff like that. Like, look, y'all, I, I tell people I ain't lifestyle of the rich and famous. Like, I'm a regular person around here with regular bills. And one thing about throwing a party, it costs money. And I know a lot of people that throw multiple parties all year long, and they spend a lot of money throwing parties for other people enjoyment. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that the way Ain't operate is when I spend money. That money got to be able to make me a return. So that's just how, how I have always been. I'm not throwing a party that's not going to profit me. If I throw a party, it's because it's going to profit me. That's that's just how I am. I don't have... I, ain't, ain't got to throw a party for 50 to 100 people. Feed them and all of this kind of stuff. And it was just everybody said we had a great time. Well, yeah, maybe I'm somebody else dying, but that ain't how I operate. So... With that being said, the people who um, have already paid for the watch party, once I get the address to the Airbnb, because, you know, they kind of give you certain stuff, like, right the day of, um, I'll be sending those, the address out to the people uh, so that they can get the private location. And that's going to be that on that. Uh, the next big event is August the 10th. That's going to be the Red Room Experience. I have... Um, Cinnamon and her husband coming down from New Orleans. They are a dominatrix couple who um, basically throw kink shows. And it's a whole production, them and their crew, their crew put together. So New Orleans, the, my New Orleans kinksters are coming to Baton Rouge. And they're going to put on a show. It's a co-ed show, so everybody's welcome to come. You just have to be 18 years old. When you purchase the book, you will get a free ticket to actually come to the show so um i'm super excited about that the show will be a book signing as well we will be uh available to take pictures with you all um and i'm just looking forward to y'all looking forward to a fantastic summer seriously like really looking forward to a fantastic summer so with that being said you all be blessed you all enjoy the rest of your day